about once we got into this thing was why not? Why not? You know, when, you got, when you got a group of guys like, like I got behind me, when I sat in four years ago and we were trying to figure it out and I saw what Don and their staff had built and, and the kind of camaraderie that they had and how it was every time they took the court and as they were building their fan base and building basketball in our community. And I kept thinking, we can do this. Amen. And we went out and signed some guys that believed in what we were trying to do. You guys started coming out and giving our guys some love every time we took the court. We created a real whole court environment where now when our guys come out of that tunnel, they see a whole lot of friends out there that they know got their backs every time we play. Yeah. And we go through some ups and downs, and you know the funny part was as we're coming down the stretch. I understand we lost a couple games here at the end, but that's what these guys are made about. They don't give in to difficult moments, and that's why when we had a chance to go win that first NCAA game in 44 years. Our guys believe that we can do it. That's why we, that's why we were in talking in the halftime of the new game, and everybody was worried about seven for 35 from the field. These guys were worried about getting back on the court because they knew they were going to do it. And I, I tell you, I, I mean, there, there, was, there was a, a, a moment in that game that tells me a lot about what kind of guys they are. And we, we came out of the locker room for the second half and we scored a couple baskets and then I believe it was Wayne comes up with a steal. Yeah. Yeah. And he yeah. Yeah. And, and now here's Mighty Duke calling a timeout yeah. to stop the game. Yeah. And as I'm sitting there and I'm looking at our guys, their eyes told me, Duke got no chance. <laughs> so it's easy to see as that game was evolving that we were going to figure out a way to get it done. And I couldn't be proud of these guys. I couldn't be proud of my bosses, Ray Tanner, Dr. Pastides, the support that they provided for us as we were building our program, Don, there are many texts late at night because I couldn't figure out how to win a game and, and, and try to keep my mind in the right place, let me know she's been through it and it's going to be all right. It's an unbelievable dynamic that we have on this campus amongst workers, amongst students, athlete to athlete, student to student. It's incredible. As coaches, we end up at different campuses around America as we're trying to figure out where we want to call home. I can tell you this is a special place as I've ever been at in my life. So, I'm not going to challenge Dr. Bastides on days off now. I, that's not my place. But I will say this. Hey, Don. Why don't we do this again next week as we get ready to work for the following?